Welcome to The Devil You Know, my video. My name is Jack and today I'll be showing you a simple guide on creating a YouTube banner and it'll look quite professional. Now the first thing you have to do is download GIMP and the link will be in the description. Once you've downloaded it you should have what I've got on the screen now. And then you click new and you have the measurements as you can see on the screen. The width as 2560 and the height as 1440. Then click OK. And yours shouldn't come up with blue because I don't know why mine did to begin with, but it should just become a white layer. And I will show you in a second. Let me just get rid of this. Such as this. So you'll have a white. It will be white. Mine's transparent because I had to change it quickly. So it doesn't matter either way. And the first thing you have to do is select a darker colour. So any colour you want. So I've, as you can see I've chosen a dark blue. And then a lighter colour. So I've chosen light blue. Then click your gradient tool. And click the reverse button and then make sure it, this part is on the radial once that's done make sure you get the center and by getting the center you use the measure tool so you click the grid at the side here and hold it down uh, sorry yeah you have to click this move button first then you move it so as you can see there's a line moving with it and this has to go 1280 across so as you can see at the bottom, down here where my mouse is now, when I'm moving this, it says the number. So 1,280. I'm only going to do it for roughly for example purposes. So there you go, that's fine. And then you go down, 720. So roughly, I'll, that'll do. So that'll be your middle. So if you press control and then you just scroll out, that's your middle. Now click back onto your gradient tool. And from your middle to any corner you want, let go. And you'll have this effect. Now what you have to do is choose the black for this one. Then all you have to do is click this box here on the tool options while you're still on the gradient. Put it foreground to transparent. Then click the middle and drag it to the edge again. And then let go. And it should have this effect black and then dark and then light now you've got this you need to add text in the middle so you can create a new layer here it is and add some text so I'm going to add a, some text called Nighthawk4321 which is someone who's subbed to me and then I will make it bigger so I'm going to make it quite big to begin with That, that'll do and then you just change your text to however you want it so just the simple part first of all so make it bold I'm going to change the font over here to my the very first one and I'm going to change it to I'm going to keep it black for now just move that into middle that's just for later on that'll do now just use your move tool again and get rid of these lines quickly now we need to put the grid lines in and this part will help you stay in inside the margin so the first one you have to go 474 downwards so 474 so that will do and then go down again to 934 and that now you have to go across 512 Oops. 512 is about there, that'll do. And then you go across 2052. 2052 is about. Oh, I can't get any clip there. Oh, perfect. So, that's 
this where my mouse is now from here to here is where your any PC is able to see but is not able to see above or below that line these lines here now to create the tablet so we go across to 352 that will do and 2204 and that will do now anything between this line here to this line here and to that line and that line tablets and smartphones can see this whatever's in that area and then anything in the whole background TVs can see like smart TVs etc so now you've got your margins what you need to do is get your click on your text at the top right in your layers and okay now you need to duplicate this so click the duplicate button where my mouse is now then click the duplicated one and go on this tool up here where is it the measure tool click the measure tool and put it about doesn't have to be perfect about here and then drag it all the way to the left of the border let go and have a look down here and it says 1283 keep a quick note of that what I'll be doing now 1283 just got to quickly make a note sorry and then drag it from here all the way to the top and that is about 557 so now you've done this you click on the duplicated text and go to filters blur motion blur now you have to click zoom and in this first one you want to type in the first number you had so one two eight three and in the second one you want to type the second number take untick blur outward off and have your length to about let's say anywhere between 10 and 15 so I'm going to have it on 12 that'll do click OK so now it should be a bit blur you can hide your first layer by doing this eye at the moment so now you can just see the blur you right click your duplicated layer and click alpha to selection then you choose whatever colour you want but it has to be quite a dark colour so black is fine and then I'm going to choose quite a light colour, it's so like grey. And I'm going to choose the gradient. Then you'll want to do click this box here, foreground to background. And I'm going to switch them and then put it on linear. So now this is done, just click wherever you want. So I'm just going to do a nice shadow there. Then click right click it and click select none. So now you should have quite a blurry text. Now to click the eye, and you then click the first layer of your text, and right click this, and put alpha to selection, and choose any colour you want. So I'm going to choose a bright green, and paint it. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to get rid of that one. Paint this quickly there probably is a faster way but at the moment simple is better so now you painted it green if you bring it back you can't see it because it doesn't look good does it so you just click your first top layer and then click this little green arrow and there you go now just click your first layer and now as you can see you've got a nice green color and then in the background, it got quite a shady 3D text. So now you've got this, you can select the text layers. Don't need this layer, just get rid of this quickly. And move it wherever you want. So I'm going to have it about here at the top. The next thing, quickly create some text. So for example, Night Talk 4321, he does reviews. So I'm going to type reviews channel select it make it bigger as big as you want choose your font so I'm going to choose my second favorite font which is bad script and I've used it in my one I'm going to change the color to a 
white put the spacing to about 15 make it bold and make it smaller now move this to if I can get the little there we go and you put it just there and there you go a quick and simple tutorial on how to create a nice looking background you still now have sorry you now have the guidelines so if you want to add anything that you want in your own banner you go ahead and thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't ask any questions at the de devil sorry ask any questions by using the hashtag ask the devil you know on twitter and i will answer them in any of my videos but just to get quickly back to this what I do is save it as a file where you can open it and edit it if you want to and then resave it by exporting it to a place and save as a JPEG and this will work.